This is R.C. Blakes, and I'm trying to see if I can talk to you for just a few minutes tonight, live. Hopefully my, my internet connection allows me to do that. Um, let's see. Let's see if this works out or not. But I hope it does. Um, I was just sitting and pondering, uh, what should I say to you tonight? And I was thinking about how your energy, energy never lies. There's this, um, there is this um, video I did on YouTube, Energy Never Lies. And we can go through a whole list of um, red flags. I'm going to, I'm going to be in Atlanta at New Birth Church, I think December the 2nd. Um, I don't really know, I think you go to the website to register for it, it's a singles event. Um, and the theme is love is, you know, I think, it is, I think it's a question, is love blind? And um, there are a lot of things you can go through and you can check off, you know, red flags with a person. And sometimes you see a person that almost looks like they are absolutely perfect. And when I say a person, I'm not necessarily just talking about romantic relationships. Like recently, the young lady that... Um, took the trip with these so-called friends of hers, and they killed her. Um, when you have a good heart, please listen to what I'm saying because I'm not gonna be here long. Tonight, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be here for eight o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, and we're talking about when should a woman give a man another chance? Don't assume that you should give a man another chance. But we're going to talk tonight at 8 o'clock about when six, six signs that maybe you should consider it. But back to my point, when you have a good heart, when, when I have a good heart, when you have a good heart, one of, the, one of the marks of having a good heart is you want to see the best in everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you're looking at me and you want to see the best in me, even though, even though you can clearly see that I am no good. I don't mean you any good. I've never meant you any good. One of the marks of having a good heart is you, you're always overlooking things and you want to see the best in everybody. There comes a point in time in your life that you literally have to just emotionally grow up. And you have to realize that the world is not as you wish, as you would wish it to be. The world is what it is. And you have to face some, there are some, some occasions where you have to face the reality that you're in. And there, there are cases with relationships where a person seems to hit all of the marks. You know, maybe they're spiritual or seem to be. Maybe, they, maybe they, they're respectful. Maybe they, you know, they look a certain way like you'd like them to look and... They're hitting all of these marks, but watch this part right here. All right, I think I'm back. If they do not have the right energy, leave it alone. If a person hits all of the marks, but they do not have the right energy, walk away from it. Why do I say that? You see, all of those other marks, I'm on my phone, so it's always, you know, whatever. All of those other marks, watch this. 
are things you're observing by way of your own intellect, you know, their looks, their attitude, their whatever, whatever, whatever. When you feel in your gut that a person does not have good energy for you, that is God saying to you, that is the God in you saying to you, run. The person may pass the eye test, but if they do not pass the gut test, that's God saying to you, I do not approve. I do not approve. And so I wanted to come on here tonight. Somebody said, love is blind is sold out. I didn't know, I don't know how many seats or whatever, I don't know. I'm just the speaker. So I'm sorry to hear that if that is the case. Um, hey man, I just came on here to say this to you. If the person does not pass the energy test, a person gotta have good energy for you, man. And I know, you know, a lot of times y'all trying to figure out what, what do we mean by energy? Because, you know, people use that term in different kinds of ways, but I, I like to use it. Some say I shouldn't use it because it speaks of some new age, whatever, whatever. Well, everybody know I'm a Christian and, and so forth and so on. You know, if I were to use Christian language or, you know, church language, if a person does not have the right spirit, if you don't pick up the right spirit from a person, run. There are some of you right now who've been toiling in your mind because a person is passing the eye test. They, they got all of these marks they're hitting, but you don't feel good about them in your spirit. You don't feel good about them in your spirit. They have bad energy. You know, in the church we say discernment. In the world they might say... Um, intuition. If you don't feel good about them in your spirit, they are not meant for you. That is God saying to you, that is God speaking to you from the inner chambers of your being, saying to you, this person is not for you. Run, 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 run. And so I wanted to just get on here and say this to you because there are so many of you that are ignoring the fact that this person's energy does not agree with you because maybe they make X amount of dollars or maybe they're educated or maybe they look good or maybe they come from a great family or it looks like they have a great future. If they don't have good energy, They are not designed for you. And you should proceed. You should move on. Because the last thing you want to do, listen to what I'm saying, is to get yourself tied up with somebody that was not ordained by God. That, that kind of relationship is easy to get into but it is hell to get out of. So that's all I wanted to say and to remind you that I'm looking for you tonight for eight o'clock. Um, we're talking tonight about when should a woman give a man another chance? Looking for you 8 p.m. Central Standard Time I love y'all, and I want you to have an amazing evening, and I'll see you in a couple of hours.